We are honored to be a part of a live recording. Say live recording. Live recording. And, and it is, it is a, because I think some in the body of Christ, and we're so, we're, when we do want to laugh and get somebody to entertain us, it's so perverted. Uh, you know, I heard about something called Deaf Comedy Jams. I, I, I heard about it. All right, all right. I stopped by just for a moment to see what, what it was about. And you sitting there and you bought a TV for somebody to cuss you out while you laughing at it. <laughs> and just feed you and pump you up with all that mess and that nastiness. And then you, you be wondering why you act like you act. <laughs> and so I am honored tonight that this is a young woman who has, oh God, she's been here a couple of times. She has blessed this congregation. She has blessed the nation. She is somebody that God has raised up for such a time as these. And, and tonight, she's just going to just have us laying on the floor with laughter, etc. But, but I, I want you to know that there's even, even when she, there's a serious side of drama that she has that is all, it's, 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 it, if I tell you, if you ain't saved, ain't converted, ain't living right, when you get, when she get through with you, it's just the way the Spirit of the Lord moves in and through her. She could be doing anything. She can go over to the secular side and just, just make all kind of money, but she's been raised in a godly home. And she's sold out to God. And I want you to stand on your feet right now to receive <laughs> Sister Trina Jeffries, better known as Sister Cantaloupe. Come on and receive her tonight. Come on and bless God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Y'all look good. All of y'all, y'all look real good. And, and men, if you know you look good, make some noise. Sit down. Sit down. That's tight. Women, let's show them how to really make some noise. Women, if you look good, make some noise. We just checking the mirror. We just checking the mirror. Just checking. The but women, we've been deceived though. We've been deceived because we look stood in line for a long time for makeup. We stood in line a long time for the clothes. We stood a long time for shoes, and we've been standing in the wrong line, y'all. Because we've been deceived. You know what really, really been making us look wonderful? It was hair all the time. It was hair. And there you stood patiently in line for that dress, and that's a nice dress, for those shoes, and those are beautiful shoes, but it was hair, mm. It was hair, mm. oh, all the time. And ain't nothing wrong with adding a little hair in your hair. If you can't sew it, or if you can't grow it, sew it. If you can't achieve it, weave it. <laughs> but long as you ain't bald-headed one day and got hair down to your ankles the next. Let's be believable. Put in an inch a month. At least let people think you're growing it. <laughs> and listen, we are still deceived. We're still deceived because there ain't nothing wrong with putting a little hair in your hair. You know, they call it weave. Go ahead. We're going to say the name. Everybody's scared to say it. Now, weave. We put weave. Touch your name and say weave. But you're still deceived.
because how come women, uh-huh, that wear braids, uh-huh, thank you, don't wear weave. <laughs> if you didn't grow it, ha, from the root top, it's a weave. <laughs> oh, you don't believe me, do you? How come women, ah, uh, that wear phony tails, ha, huh, thank you, don't wear weave, ha. Huh. If you didn't grow it, ta, from the root, ta, it's a weed. Oh, you still don't believe me. And how come women that wear weeds, uh, thank you, don't wear weeds, if you didn't, from the root, it's a weed. Oh, now you believe me. Kirk, right? Y'all remember Kirk? He's standing there. <laughs> Y'all can't see him. Hold on. There he is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Kirk Franklin wrote a song. I rearranged it again for my own protection. It says, someone asked a question. Mm -hmm. Why do I wear a wig? Straightening combs and it covers up my babies. <laughs> well, I guess you may be wondering, uh huh, why don't I just buy a wig? <laughs> Y'all, I look and look and look for one. My head is just too big. <laughs> I weave because I'm nappy. I weave because I'm gray. <laughs> and sometimes I just take a little shoe polish <laughs> and paint the gray away. <laughs> touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. You think that's why my hair turned gray? I believe I can soar. I see me walking in the Chinese